Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you October 16th, it's a Friday. Been a funny week. Um, super risk on, then super risk off. Uh, and the risk on on Monday was just quite incredible right holiday Monday up to one uh, up to 3541 then yesterday back down to 3435 uh, big reversal and yes yesterday big tail there now back at 74 so we're dead center here uh, for the week so we want to stay away from S&P's no real idea what's going on with that let's just take a look at currencies uh, Euro still clearing out these these stale longs, right? Didn't really do too much damage yesterday. Um, what was the low eighty eight? Yeah, we have this eighty eight low and some eighty five lows there. Um, this could start to do damage today if we get down through 85. Uh, then we could take a visit to this uh, 116, sort of 16 zone. Uh, no strong feeling on it right now, but we will be on alert as we, if we get down to 85 and things start to look a little ropey. <clears throat> Here's the cable chart. This line's pretty meaningless touches a few times um, but cables just tricky right just news driven although yesterday it just followed uh, euro um, no real idea on cable I do think they're gonna do a deal although there are a lot of uh, smart people that we listen to about their views who think that there's a risk of uh, of uh, Bojo walking so just gotta watch the news if you're quick with the news um, there's some money to be made if you're not uh, which is not my game news certainly the first move in news is not my game so I I'm staying away from cable right now dollar Swiss doing absolutely nothing volatility careening towards zero um, 91.50 no one cares dollar yen kind of the same right we're still a little excited for downside excited is the wrong word our bias for dollar yen is is lower um, but it's just there's just no joy right I mean we've been 60.05 to this week we've had a 60 point um, 60 point range for the week pathetic cross yen also no real interest um, this is now sort of pivoty and, and mildly interesting and this is euro dollar driven if, if euro dollar gets down through 85 euro yen will be piercing this figure area the bottom of the recent range is, is 122.35. Something to keep in mind there. If this wasn't sterling yen, it would be an interesting chart. Looks like she wants lower. Yesterday, uh, as most of you probably also did, got paid being long uh, dollars are up to 72. Now, 1672 looks very similar to 1658 triple top we've been talking about 1680 now since you know for basically two weeks you really need to clear 1680 uh, to get this thing moving uh, but yesterday was a good start pretty decent up day sort of held you know the low after 58 has been 63 uh, Core long looks the way. 
tricky dollar max very very tricky we like dollar max uh, as a break trade through 2152 just leave it at that Aussie still offered um, you know the bad news is 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 there it's not going away um, it's short-term bad it's long-term bad a lot of bad shits happening uh, in the new cycle in Aussie and okay the fast money guys are, are short now but the the long-term structural shorts which we normally see are just not there that we normally see with uh, equity bears are not there so this can go lower uh, so don't be afraid Euro Aussie I don't have to say it but I will on 65.90 uh, interesting chart Aussie N 74 the figure um, it'll be down a percent if we get down there today and Aussie N looks like she still wants lower four red days this will be the fifth if we get down there not chasing Aussie N but CAD yen same chart but not as not as strong because we're, we're, we're middle of the range here here's dollar cat kind of the bane of my existence uh, the last four months really having trouble harvesting profit in dollar cad now we're in the middle of the range we obviously have our um, sort of Oh, where is that? 133.30 was the big seller um, on the way up. And then, I mean, obviously, this is the most important part, 134.20. Um, but as we go risk off, Dollar Cat did turn. I believe we called the turn down here at, one, at 131, the figure, but somehow we didn't profit from that call, which is uber annoying. EuroCAD not worth really looking at. Dollar China has been thorny. Um, China does not want a, a stronger yuan. People are maybe confused about this. Um, this is going to go back towards seven, I think. Uh, but no signs of that yet. This will get really. Uh, really messy if we get back down through 668 I don't think we will um, on Monday obviously reserve requirements were, were lowered that's a big deal and that's for me is them signaling they want uh, dollar one higher they were barking a little bit midweek about oh don't worry about it this is uh, you know reflective of our strong economy you know fuck off right um Honestly, I think they were just like trying to get ship get some in on the bid when they make these comments. Um, but no evidence yet. Looks like we might get some more sideways. I guess the the bingo number now is uh, six seventy six fifty. We like dollar one higher. Um, the tactical book is square. We'll maybe take another hack at this up through 76. Gold, pretty volatile in a sort of do nothing, nothing to do uh, deal. So just staying away from gold. Gets interesting, maybe above 40. Um, that's maybe an election trade. ZB had a big turn yesterday. 176.10 the high back down to 175.10 um, this is just ranging right now core short is the way uh, quietly short is the way this is going to head back down to this 171 area eventually um, painfully slow BTP's turned yesterday finally where is the old BTP chart They turned, but then they just couldn't, didn't have the nerve to stay. 
that was the bar you're looking for if you're if you want to go short but you wanted it to close at the low and now it closes mid looks like it's going to open at 67 this is the most mispriced asset uh, on the board but you know do you want to fight the ECB I don't know you know used to lonely lonely fight shorting BTPs um, but you know anyone who has lived in Europe who uh, spends a lot of time in Italy as I happen to do uh, married an Italian into Italian heritage there um, I have a place in Italy it's a mess. Uh, talk about budget problems. Talk about tax collection problems. Uh, it's basically a glamorous Greece is what it is. And it will come, as soon as it comes back to the front to low, BTPs are fucked. But we need price to confirm, as always. <clears throat> it's not good enough to have a view. Uh, you need price to confirm, and price is not confirming here. So we're just watching. We'll be back. Um, when price confirms crude big reversal from 39.22 this is now going to be considered like some sort of head and shouldery deal 41.50 there'll be some momentum traders there um, whether momentum trading works in crude I don't know but uh, it's an important level now 41.50 or if you really want to drill down, uh, this is 41.72. This is 41.47. So what are these guys going to do? They're going to do this. And this is what technical analysis is. It's like, what the hell, what the fuck is the herd going to do? Um, you don't need to believe in the hocus pocus of, of whatever lines, trend lines and horizontals and Fibonacci's. Uh, but sometimes it gives you an indication of what the herd is going to do, and what you know. If you know what the herd's going to do, then uh, then you have a strategy. Anyway, we're not trading crude. Focus today is basically Euro Aussie. Um, we're going to continue to trade dollars are on the long side, with the idea that if you're not long already, you want to sort of just buy dips towards 58. You know. The first test of 58, we think, is surely a buy. Um, and we're watching Euro dollar um, to see if this uh, 116.85 comes into play. Euro Aussie, obviously, um, will be dependent on risk on, risk off. We'll need risk off for Euro Aussie to work. Said enough, 13 minutes babbling on here. Listen, have a good Friday uh, and enjoy your weekend. Talk to you Monday. Ciao.